Everyone, what's your name? All right, guys, it's time for another run of the PlayStation One Jeopardy game. In which, in the last run, I won. <laughs> get started here. Welcome to Jeopardy! We've got a great game lined up for you. We've got some very challenging categories for you in this round. Are you ready? Yep. 1970s bestsellers, the human body, political history, colors, hmm. Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals, Rhode Islanders. All right, player one, start us off. Um, let's do human body for 100. Also called the tympanic membrane, it divides the external and middle ear. Player one. What is the ear canal? Oh. Or maybe, or it might be eardrum, I'm not sure. I'll try eardrum. Why, yes. Yeah. All right, pick again. 200. In women, these egg-producing gonads are about the size and shape of an almond. Player three. The ovaries. That's right. What will it be, player three? This organ receives blood from two sources. The hepatic artery and the portal vein. The liver. Player three. Of the three types of bees in the body, the skeletal, or striated ones, are the most abundant. Muscles. Player three, what'll it be? The name of this gland indicates that it lies upon the kidney. general admired for his side whiskers served as governor of Rhode Island 1866 to 1869 player three it's your turn in this Andrew Lloyd Webber musical an actress becomes the most powerful woman in Argentina Player two? Indira? That is incorrect. There's a lot of game left, so hang in there. Here is the correct response. Evita. Player three, you choose. Fire engine is a bright shade of this color. Player one? What is... It's either orange or yellow. That's wrong. No. Oh no, it's red. Okay. Your choice, player three. At his first inauguration on March 4, 1861, he said the issue of civil war was not in his hands. Player one. Who is Abraham Lincoln? That's 
right. Your choice, player one. It's a light yellowish brown, or the shade you turn after bathing in the sun. Player one. What is tan? That's correct. All right, pick again. Named for the Irish town, Killarney is a shade of this color. Anyone? Green. All right, pick again. One hundred. Dove and mouse are different shades of this color. Player one. What is white? Maybe either white or gray. I'll try. I'm gonna try gray. Yes, indeed. Yes. Nevada's state colors are blue and this. It helps if you know the state nickname. Player two? Copper? Good guess, but that's wrong. Anyone? Silver. All right, pick again. city political boss served in the House of Representatives 1853 to 1855. Player two? Charles Fairbanks? That is incorrect. Here is the correct response. William Boss Tweed. All right, pick again. This Republican had served just under two years as New York governor when elected vice president in 1900. Player one. Okay, um, who is, who's Theodore Roosevelt? That's correct. Yes. All right, pick again. movement led to the formation of this political party in 1869. Player two? The prohibition. That's it. Okay. Your choice, player two. One of her best sellers was Aunt Irma's Coke book in 1979. Player one? Who is Irma Bumpback? That's it, exactly. All right, player one. This Civil War general never held elective office prior to being elected president in 1868. Player one. 
Who's the OSS S. Grant? No? Oh, wait. I, I spelled his name wrong. That's why. Yes, indeed. book Trinity didn't make a quick exodus from the charts. Player one. Who's Leon Uris? and 1973 lists. John, Le John Livingstone Seagull. All right, pick again. This James Missioner book topped the chart for one year, not for 100 years. Player two? Centennial? Exactly. Player two, you choose. On June 19, 1997, it surpassed a chorus line as Broadway's longest running show. Player three. Phantom of the Opera? Uh, regrettably, no. Cats. Player two, it's your turn. Robert Gray discovered this river that forms much of the border between Washington and Oregon. Player three. The snake. Good guess, but no. No. This is a difficult board. The Columbia. What'll it be, player two? It was no fantasy that his The Cimmerillion was the top seller for 1977. Player one. Who is John Ronald Real Tolkien? Oops. John Ronald. Not Rhodes. Not Robert. No. Okay, I'm going to try our Artokian. No. Well, I'll just try Tokian. Yes! There we go. Player one, your turn. Um, 300 Rhode Islanders. He painted the first five men to succeed Washington as president, but is most famous for his three of George. Gilbert Stewart. Player one. Hattie Lapone, Glenn Close, and Betty Buckley have all played Norma Desmond in this show. Player one. What is Sunset Boulevard? I am a Glenn Close fan, so that's why I knew that. Why 
yes. All right, pick again. From 1992 through 96, Ted Neely toured in a revival of this musical. He played the title role on film. Player two? Jesus Christ, Superstar. That's correct. Okay. What'll it be, player two? Characters in this musical include Dinah, the dining car, Belle, the sleeping car, and Greaseball. Player one? What is Starlight Express? Exactly. Player one, it's your turn. Little Johnny Jones introduced his Give My Regards to Broadway. Here is the correct response. George M. Cohen. And to finish the board, Quaker manufacturer Moses Brown led the movement that made Rhode Island first to abolish this in 1784. Player three. Slavery? Correct. Yeah. All right, that's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's look at the total scores so far. I'm in the lead so far. Let's move on to double Jeopardy. Let's get to the categories for Double Jeopardy. People in history. Seas. Bird parts. Hmm. Poetry. Business and finance. Games. Player three, you go first. It's the marsupial receptacle, a chipmunk cheek, or the sack under a pelican's bill. Player three. A pouch? Yes. All right, pick again. The answer is a video game pillow. Player three, we have four wager points. A caruncle is a fleshy outgrowth, like this on the top of a rooster. Take a look at your monitor. Player three. Fetlock? That's wrong. Here is the correct response. A comb. All right, pick again. Collective term for all the feathers of a bird. Plumage. All right, pick again. Also called the ventriculus, it's the part of a bird that grinds food using stones or grit. The gizzard. All right, pick again. It's the claw of an eagle. Player three. The talon. The talon. You are correct. All right, pick again. This is a game of guessing words or phrases acted out, sometimes syllable by syllable. Oh. Player two? Charades. Yeah. That's correct. Not really a big fan Player on charades. Player two, your turn. Not really big on charades. A bocce, bagatelle, and baccarat, the one that doesn't use balls. 
Anybody? Back rat. What'll it be, player two? It's the number of dice you toss on your first roll in Yahtzee. Player three. Six. Good guess, but that's incorrect, unfortunately. Player one? I don't play Yahtzee, but I'm going to guess. I'm going to say 12. That's wrong. No. Anybody? Oh, it's five. Okay. It's your turn, player two. In this game, a person whose eyes are covered must determine a person's identity by feeling the face. Player two? Blind man's bluff. That's correct. All right, pick again. The winner of a game of war winds up with this many cards. Here is the correct response. Wow, 52. All right, pick again. This business associate may be dormant, general, limited, secret, or silent. Player two? A partner? Correct. All right, pick again. It's your group of investments. A diversified one minimizes risk. Player two? A portfolio? That's it. All right, pick again. It's an illegal stock transaction based on information not available to the general public. Player two? Insider trading? You are correct. All right, pick again. On a firm's books, an uncollectible account used to reduce net profit is called this. Player two? A debt? No, too bad. Here is the correct response. Right off. All right, pick again. Answer. Player two, your wager, please. Similar to a commission, this fee is paid to the person who brought the buyer and seller together. Player two? A consideration? Good guess, but no. But find your Here is the correct response. All right, pick again. Two island nations lie within this sea, Cyprus and Malta. The Mediterranean Sea. All right, pick again. It's believed William Clark, fond of this Indian guide, later raised and educated her son. All right, pick again. In Howell, he wrote, I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. Player one. Who is Allen Gib Ginsberg? Correct. You're building up a big lead. Yes, sir. Player one? Um. whose uncle was the Bishop of Krakow, is the apostle of this country. Player one? What is Poland? To be sure. All right, pick again. 
World War I, this future president of Vietnam worked at the Carlton Hotel in London. Anybody? All right, pick again. Out Kaisat, out Nihil, either Caesar or nothing, was a motto used by Cesare of this notorious family. Anybody? All right, pick again. Lev Davidovich Bronstein was the real name of this communist leader banished from Russia in 1929. All right, pick again. This sea was named for a warlike tribe of Indians that inhabited the Lesser Antilles. Anyone? Here is the correct response. It's Caribbean Sea. All right, pick again. He wrote, sitting by a bush in broad sunlight and stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Player one. Who is Robert Frost? Correct. All right, pick again. His One Self I Sing was originally published in 1867 under the title Inscription. Player one. Who is Walt Whitman? Exactly. All right, pick again. Believed written in the 8th century, this heroic old English poem did not appear in print until 1815. Player three. Steppenwolf? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Here is the correct response. The wolf. All right, pick again. In the preface to Adonais, Shelley wrote, he died at Rome of a consumption. Player three. John Keats? Right you are. All right, player three. The Scheldt River flows through Antwerp before emptying into this sea. Player three. The North Sea. Exactly. Okay. All right, pick again. Although discovered by Semyon Desnev in 1648, this arm of the North Pacific was named for another man. Anybody? That's what I thought, the Burring Sea. And to finish the board... The world's largest inland body of water, its surface lies about 90 feet below sea level. The Here is the correct response. All right, that brings us to the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. Doing pretty good.
This is a no-brainer, unless somebody does something foolish. Let's see what our category is for final Jeopardy. Columnists. Columnists. Player three, we have your wager, please. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. I'll wager 3,000. All right, here's the answer. Good luck. John R. Hunt. No, 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 not Rhodes. I'll just say John Hunt. No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how everyone is. Thanks, Johnny. Player three, your question? Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. Well, that's Let's see wrong. how much it cost you. Yeah, you'll get them next time. Player two, your question. Sorry, that's incorrect. That's all, that's Let's wrong. see how much it cost you. Sometimes you get a tough one. Player one, let's take a look at your question. Oh, sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost you? Looks like I'm the winner. Here is the correct response. Oh, okay, it's Ann Landers. to me. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Here are the high scores for all the game modes. I will see you guys in my next video.